Katibu ni Zubeida Kananu na Mkalimani wa Ishara ni Damian Evans. Waziri wa Kawi Davis Chilchil anasema kufikia sasa wizara hiyo haijabaini sababu zilizosababisha kukatika kwa nguvu za umeme kote nchini Ijumaa wiki ijana akizungumza alipofika mbele ya kamati ya bunge la kitaifa ya Kawi Chilchil anasema wahandisi zaidi ya hamsini kutoka idara mbalimbali za sekta ya Kawi wanatathmini data zilizopo kutambua chanzo cha kuhitilafiwa kwa usambazaji nguvu za umeme nchini Aliomba kamati hiyo siku 12 ili kuandaa ripoti kamili atakayowasilisha mbele yake. Dalmas Sakali anaarifu. Kamati ya bunge la kitaifa kuhusu kawi Ijumaa ilimweka kwenye kitimoto waziri wa kawi Davis Chirchir kutoa maelezo zaidi kuhusu kukatika kwa nguvu za umeme kote nchini Ijumaa Ijumaa jana. Kamati hii ilitaka kujua kilichojiri nani wanafaa kuwajibishwa na iwapo tukio kama hilo lingejirudia waziri Chirchir akisema chanzo cha kukatika kwa umeme hakijajulikana jawabu ambalo lilionekana kwenda kinyume kabisa na taarifa ya kampuni ya Kenya Power kuwa tatizo lilitokana na hitilafu kwenye mtambo mkuu wa kawi ya upepo ya ziwa Turkana this is why we did say give us some days for the engineers to conclusively confirm was the signal from this plant reporting to that plant that switch yourself off because you are in danger or did it automatically switch itself because there was an internal fault and therefore we need to un understand and use these data logs to confirm the sequencing of events and therefore be able to conclusively and professionally give a position that does not pull us down in line with the PPS that we have committed to. Uh, and respecting the investments that are in this country and conscious equally of the losses that the country really underwent uh, over that uh, uh, not just a minor incident but a major incident kamati hii inayoongozwa na mbunge wa Mwala Vincent Musyoka ilitaka kujua ni kwa nini mitambo ya kuzalisha nguvu za umeme inayotokana na joto yani thermal power plants haikuingilia kanti kutoa suluhu licha ya kusawiriwa kuojebekea wajibu huo in the recovery process once the entire grid has collapsed The best way is to find a system that is up and then use it to recover the rest of the system. In the past, we have always used the Uganda, Uganda line. That is when the rest of the Kenyan system has collapsed. Then we use the UETC link, the UEB, which comes to Lesos, and then we recover the rest of the system. But when this happened, that was not available, so we had to start systems right from the scratch, and that normally takes uh, some time. And it's a, actually a very delicate process, uh, Chair that because as you bring more as you bring more generation you also have to add in a load that is equivalent and at times when there is a mistake between possibly you brought generation to this level but the next load you add possibly is more than you anticipated it can again collapse the system hayo ya najiri huku mamlaka ya udhibiti wa kawi nchini epra kupitia kwa mkurugenzi mkuu Daniel Kipto ikisema imewaandikia wadau mbalimbali kwenye mchakato wa kuzalisha na kusambaza nguvu za umeme kote nchini kutoa taarifa zao huku usukilichojiri sasa Chirchir anatarajiwa kurejea mbele ya kamati hii ya Kawi tarehe 13 Septemba baada ya siku 12 alizopatiwa na kamati hii ya Kawi kutamatika ili kutoa taarifa kamili Sakali Dalmos KTN News <tos>